The image on the left shows a massive disc herniation at C67 following a motor vehicle accident. You'll see that in the red circle. The image on the right shows the removed disc fragments. The operative video shows the moment at which one of those disc fragments was extracted from the cervical spinal cord. This is what an artificial disc looks like. This artificial disc was placed at C67 following extraction of the fragment, a similar disc was placed at C56. This is the post-operative imaging that shows the previous cervical fusion that this patient had undergone at C45 by another surgeon. You'll note the relatively bulky construct or prosthesis that was used and you can see the sleek artificial discs at C56 and C67 marked by the yellow arrows. The patient has done very well clinically. Her spinal cord function has been protected. Her cervical mobility has been preserved.